Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. Our What's for Dinner videos come out every single Tuesday and we are kicking off another week of What's for Dinner with some large salads. So in my household, it's me and my husband and our six month old baby. So I generally cook between five to six times uh, per week and then we have leftovers the other days. Um, but I recently went to Trader Joe's and bought a bunch of stuff and I'll make sure to link that haul in the iCards. But one of the things that I picked up was the Caesar salad kit. So I made the kit and then to it, to make it more of a meal, I added on these chicken strips from Aldi's. And this is our first time having them and they are actually pretty good. We both tasted them. So I made four chicken strips in our air fryer and then I chopped it up as you can see right there. And then also to make it a little bit more hearty, I just boiled a couple of boiled eggs and added them to the salad. And then on the side, we're just having some garlic bread. Um, I already threw away the box a long time ago, but it is garlic bread from Tom Thumb and it is the store brand and it is their five cheese and we really like that a lot. And I also cook the garlic bread in the air fryer as well. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I am trying out a new recipe and I thought I'd bring you guys along. This is for skillet stroganoff. Now I do have another ground beef stroganoff recipe that I've made before that I've been making for years. And I'll try to remember to leave that in the iCard so you can check that out. But this is a new one, it's a one pot um, stroganoff recipe. So in my skillet, I have browned um, one pound of ground beef and an onion. I seasoned it with garlic salt, garlic powder and onion powder and I've drained it already. And to that I am going to add a can of cream of mushroom soup. And by the way, I have my skillet on a on medium heat. So cream of mushroom soup and a cup of sour cream. Here's my cup of sour cream. I'm gonna add that in. Gonna stir this up just a little bit. And I'm gonna add some water. And I'll make sure to leave this recipe in the description box so you'll have the exact measurements and my beef broth. my egg noodles. So I'm going to let this come to a boil and once it's come to a boil, I'm going to cover it and simmer it until the noodles are done. So I'll be back to show you the finished product. All right guys, so here is the stroganoff. I ended up letting it cook for about 15 minutes. The noodles weren't quite done enough for me. And I did also end up adding a little bit more seasoning to it, um, but it's really good. So I need to finish making my sides and then I will plate everything up and show you what it looks like. All right guys, so I have everything all plated up. So here is the stroganoff and it is really good. Howard and I tasted it. We both really like it a lot. And then I just stir fried some broccolini, fresh broccolini and fresh mushrooms that I picked up during my Trader Joe's haul. And then um, in my freezer um, outside of my garage, I have this huge package of Sister Schubert's dinner yeast rolls. And um, they've been out there for a while and I need to use them. So I'm gonna work on using these this week. And I cooked it in the air fryer. I don't remember if I've ever um, made it in the air fryer, made these in the air fryer before, but I overcooked them. And that white film you see on top is butter. So when it came out of the air fryer, I put a little bit of butter on there to try to give it some sheen and hopefully um, 
make it not so dry, but it kind of doesn't look as appetizing now that the butter has dried up. But anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I made some lasagna. I have not made that in a long time. So let me show you the ingredients that I used up from our pantry. So in our pantry, I had this box of ready oven-ready lasagna. I used half the box, but I did cook these ahead of time. So I used half a box of this, and then I used a jar of marinara. So I used some of this marinara sauce the other week when I made chicken parmesan. I used probably like, I don't know, a fourth of a cup or half a cup of this sauce and I stuck it in the refrigerator and I wanted to use it before it went bad. So I used that. I used ground beef from our freezer and then um, I like to have a chunky meaty meat sauce. And so I had this bruschetta in my pantry and I love bruschetta. I do not put it on bread. I always use it as a pasta sauce. I mean, it's just tomatoes and olive oil and um, you know, it has a really good flavor to it. So that's a tip um, that I'd like to share. Use bruschetta as just a regular sauce. You don't have to have it on bread. And then I'm serving it with green beans. So I'm using two cans of green beans from um, Aldi. And of course I season them up. And then the Sister Schubert's rolls are back. Um, we had these the other day. And like I said, I have a huge bag in my freezer from Sam's and I am determined to use up these rolls this month. And so I made the rolls in the air fryer again. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having taco salads. I have talked about these taco salad shells on several what's for dinner videos and I grew up eating these. My mom used to make these all the time and they are really hard to find now. So whenever I find them, I buy a whole bunch of them and put them in my freezer. And so I haven't had these in several months because I ran out and then I went to a Kroger that I normally don't shop at and found them there. So I was so excited. So I stocked up on them again, but they are by Azteca. You get four flower shells um, in the box with formers and those white things are the formers right there. So you just place the tortillas on the little formers on a pan, throw them in the oven for about 10 minutes. And here are your taco shells. They are light and crispy and I love them. So this is Howard's and he has um, some leftover rice on the bottom and then he has refried beans, he has the taco meat, um, lettuce, cheese, salsa, and sour cream. He doesn't have any avocados. Um, I need to go to the store tomorrow and pick him up some. But if he did, he would definitely have them on there. And here is mine. I have everything on there, except I do not have rice on there and I don't have sour cream on there, but I have everything else. And for the taco seasoning mix, we are using this Trader Joe's taco seasoning mix. I recently picked it up on a Trader Joe's haul and I've talked about it. We've had it before and I really like it a lot. So one packet of taco seasoning is 79 cents and let me flip it over for y'all. Okay, so the recipe is on the back. So you use half a packet for a pound of ground beef and it's just my husband and I eating. If there were more of us in the household, I would use a whole packet for and use two pounds of ground beef, but it's just us. And so the directions are to use a 14 ounce can of tomato sauce or tomatoes and an onion. Um, normally when I use their taco seasoning, I just add it to my ground beef and add a little bit of um, salsa and then I call it a day but I decided to try to do what they said on the packet this time so I didn't add an onion because I just didn't feel like chopping it up but I did um, use some tomato sauce but I didn't use a 14 ounce can I just used an 8 ounce can and that was plenty juicy enough for us I'm trying to get a close-up of the meat so it's not really saucy and I don't really like a saucy um, taco meat and so this, you know, one ounce was, I'm sorry, one can, eight ounces was perfect for us. And so let me show you the difference between the Trader Joe's taco seasoning and just the regular Ortega taco seasoning. So this is what I currently have in my pantry and this is what I normally use. 
um, and I still have a whole nother bottle to get through, but I just wanted to show you the difference. And also the Trader Joe's, here are the ingredients, sea salt, cumin, just regular everyday ingredients. And I didn't realize it was made in South Africa, um, which is pretty cool. But on the El, Old El Paso, chili peppers, the first ingredient, malodextrin, cornstarch, silicone dioxide, et cetera, et cetera. And as you can see, it's more like a powder, whereas you can see all the different types of seasoning in the Trader Joe's. So Trader Joe's is definitely my favorite taco seasoning. When I finally get through this, I'm just gonna go with Trader Joe's. It has a really good flavor. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having Korean style spicy barbecue chicken stir fry kit. I picked this up from Aldi's and I love these kits. I have shown them before on other what's for dinner videos, but these are a seasonal item. I thought they only came once a year to Aldi, but apparently they come twice a year. So I went to Aldi the other day and by the time this video comes out, my Aldi video will be out and I found them there and I was so excited. So I got Korean and I also got the teriyaki stir fry kit too. So it comes with this, well in this box I should say, and that's everything that came in the box, the uh, packages, but it comes with um, the sauce, it comes with chicken, it comes with the noodles, it comes with everything. And all you do is throw it in the skillet, stir fry it, and it's ready to go. And let me show you on the back, here are, oops, wrong way. Here are the instructions on the back right here. And it says that you can add in your favorite vegetables, which I did. So I added in some broccoli and some cabbage, which you can't see the cabbage in there. But I added that in and on top there is a chicken and that chicken is really, really good. I am serving it with some spring rolls from the Dollar Tree and this is what they look like. Now, I don't brag about a lot of food from the Dollar Tree, but these spring rolls are really good. And Howard and I did a review on these probably over a year ago. We did a Dollar Tree frozen foods video about a year ago. And then we did a 2020 version a few months ago. So I'll make sure to um, link those videos in the description box that I made the spring rolls in the air fryer. You get 10 in, a, 10 in a package and I made five for us. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time.